Hey guys, it's Leslie. Welcome back to Holistic Health at Home. It is day three of this juice feast, and I'm officially feeling it. <laughs> My adrenals have definitely started to show me just where they lie, where their true level of function is. Now, I've known for some time that I have weakened adrenals, and it's something that I've been working on for some time. Um, but as with everything, it's always a work in progress. But I wanted to share with you guys the three herbal formulas that I'm keeping on hand at all times to help support my body during this cleanse. I'm calling them my three musketeers. So first off, we have Dr. Morse's Spasm Calm. I have a yarrow extract or a tincture. And then I also have a homemade licorice root tincture. I, I'm sorry, these are probably really difficult to see. But <clears throat> we'll start with Dr. Morse's Spasm Calm. This is an incredible anti-spasmodic. Uh, so for me personally, because I have struggled with asthma uh, my whole life, my adrenals are low enough that um, once they do dip so low, it is very, very common for me to have a lot of uh, tightness in my chest, a lot of wheezing, coughing. Um, so anytime that I'm starting to experience those symptoms, I'm going to turn to my spasm calm. Now, by all means, guys, I do still have my emergency inhaler on hand, but during this cleanse, I'm really trying to stick with my herbs because that's what they're there for. They are tissue specific. Um, these herbs will target certain tissues in the body and help encourage them to function on their own. Moving on, we have the yarrow. Um, this is something that I got from Mountain Rose Herbs, and yarrow is really phenomenal at helping to balance high emotions. Now, when we're talking about the adrenals, we're definitely also talking about the emotions, the emotional body. So as we're cleansing our bodies, we have uh, emotions that are trapped in the body, and they will start to move. It's very common for a lot of people who are cleaning out their bodies to have random bursts of laughter and crying, of anger and sadness. And these are, these are simply emotions that we've been suppressing for who knows how long. And they need to come out as well because we want this energy flow to be unobstructed in the body. And we have a few energy flows in the body. So we want to try to remove everything. And so with that said, um, I did hit up this yarrow this morning right as I got to work. I was feeling so stressed and, and anxious and um, really flighty almost. And I wanted to calm that down so I could focus at work. And that yarrow did just the trick. Next up, the third musketeer is the licorice root tincture. This is a homemade tincture that uh, I made here at home. Um, you can certainly make your own if you want. You can also buy them online. Um, you can even look into like a licorice root tea, but I find that um, licorice root tincture uh, absorbs into the body very quickly. Now, we use licorice root whenever our blood pressure dips too low. Uh, from our last video, we were talking about blood pressure and just what that means, right? We have our adrenal health over our kidney health. Now we have two blood pressures, one on each side of the body. Why? Because we have an adrenal gland and a kidney on one side, and we have an adrenal gland and a kidney on the other side of the body. And the kidney on the right side filters the lymph on the right side of the body, and the kidney on the left filters the lymph on the left side of the body. <clears throat> so with that said, when we start to clean out our bodies and suddenly we're not giving our bodies these stimulating foods, um, it is very normal for blood pressure to dip if you have that congestion or genetic weakness. So if your systolic number or the top number is around 100 or lower, it would be really beneficial to use some licorice root um, to help bump up your blood pressure. But word of caution, if you already have high blood pressure, do not use licorice root. It will raise your blood pressure too much. So with that said, those are my three musketeers. Um, I haven't had to use the spasm calm today. Fortunately, my chest has been really open and feeling just uh, 
so clear today and I'm so very grateful for all of the cleaning that my body is doing. Uh, my partner and I just mixed up a, uh, a fresh juice. It's kind of separated now since I've been talking, but uh, we're calling this the strawberry sunset. And my gosh, guys, it's phenomenal. I'm actually going to take a quick sip. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Apples, grapes, and strawberries. I can't say I have ever juiced strawberries before, but it's now one of my new things, like new favorite things to juice. They're phenomenal. Um, last thing that I wanted to bring up in today's video, I mean, other than a really, again, no huge detox symptoms today other than another drop in energy. And to be honest, friends, I do expect that to get a bit worse before it gets better. Um, our bodies have to clean out of the internal junk that has built up over years. And it takes time for our cells and tissues to repair and regenerate. And so we have to keep working with our bodies, keep giving them the fruit and the herbs whenever needed to help support our systems and help perk them up. Um, without them becoming addicted to the herbs. That's, that's a benefit of herbs versus pharmaceuticals. Last thing I wanted to talk about was a, a really great question that I got in my Facebook group tonight. And if you're not already a member of my Facebook group, I will link that in the description box below. Please join us and uh, post your questions. Let's really open up this conversation around healing so we can all learn and grow together. Uh, but someone posted in my Facebook group tonight um, asking about parasites. Uh, this individual said uh, he has a friend that went to Mexico uh, for the first time and she went uh, walking barefoot somewhere and now is struggling and she's been struggling for some time with uh, a pretty severe case of parasites. So um, let's talk about parasites. Um, the parasitic kingdom in nature has a very important role. It is there to clean up waste. And so anytime we see parasites in the body, we know that there is a lot of internal waste for them to feed on. And so we have to, in essence, starve the parasites of their food source. Um, no one wants to stay where there's nothing for them to eat. So you starve the parasites and they're either going to die off or they're going to leave your body. And sometimes they will leave while they're still alive. We need to move toward a high fruit diet in order to starve the parasites of their food. Congesting uh, foods like pasta, bread, um, uh, you know, anything baked goods, anything that leaves a lot of residue in the GI tract, um, this will create mucoid plaque over time. It'll prevent us from uh, absorbing our nutrients, um, but it also gives this amazing terrain for parasites to feed on. So we need to clean out the internal terrain, really clean out the bowels, um, the GI tract, so get on the high fruit. Um, if you are familiar with Dr. Morse's formulas, I would highly suggest your friend look into Parasite M and Parasite G. Um, these are both phenomenal anti-parasitic herbal formulas. Uh, Parasite M is for your smaller parasites. Parasite G is for your larger parasites. Um, so I would highly suggest your friend tackling them both and for some time if she's really struggling with this. So clean out the internal terrain, really clean out the bowels, um, remove the internal lymphatic congestion that the parasites feed on. Honestly, parasites have a role. They have a job to do and they are there to clean up the waste. So just beat them to it clean it out and then they don't want to stick around because there's nothing for them to eat. I wish your friend the very best of luck. You guys got this. Uh, start understanding what signs your body is giving you, what they're really asking for, and then give your bodies what they're asking for. It's tough at first, but once you push past that mental game, you'll be so happy you did. 
Well, that's it for today's video, friends. Thanks again for joining me on day three. I hope you're staying juicy. And if you are looking for any kind of assistance on your health journey, please send me a message on my website at wholetalks.com. That is H-O-L-T-O-X.com. I'm Leslie, sending you love and health.